Hello, and welcome to Healthy Moments. This is a show where I digest health across brand news and beyond. This week, I'd like to start off with one man's commendable work of losing 370 pounds. And he did it by using good old-fashioned exercise and diet. The reason why this article is important is because I've been seeing a lot of people in my Facebook threads complaining that they are dieting and exercising, but not seeing any results. Their excuse? Genetics. Genetics are a whole nother can of worms. And unless you have an organ that's not functioning correctly, like a thyroid problem, it's really hard to point out any other genetic problems that could be affecting your metabolism. What most people don't understand is that weight management, both losing weight and gaining weight, is a science and it needs to be documented. All the nutrition in, calories out. And what's great about modern times is that there are apps and websites like loseit.com that let you very easily document all your calories and exercise and they let you do so for free. They made it so easy that you can even scan in barcodes on the foods that you eat. Now if your problem is, oh, I eat out too much, that's a big problem. Start cooking your own meals. Next up, we have a new prostate cancer drug from Johnson & Johnson called Zydega. In trials, it has shown to double the amount of time a person lives without the disease progressing. Also good news about this drug, the pre-chemotherapy trials uh, were stopped ahead of schedule because it was obvious that the benefit that the patients were having. The generic name for the drug is abiraterone, and it does note some important side effects, such as cardiac disorders, high blood pressure, and elevated liver enzymes. With each passing year, the media and the internet are making us more and more numb to very important subjects. Safe sex is one of them. What people need to understand is that all these antibiotics that treat common STDs have a lifespan. What this means is that bacteria will mutate to the point where it renders the drugs ineffective. The newest disease winning the battle against medicine is gonorrhea. Gonorrhea usually takes about two to five days to present itself, but it can take as long as a month, and all the symptoms are horrible. I don't want to talk about them. So man, whichever name you remember, Condom, raincoat, or my favorite, Jimmy hat, use them. The alternative is listening to my mother, and that is using two condoms and no sex, and that's 99% effective. The last article in Brand News travels to the opposite side of pharmaceutical trials, and there is a successful tuberculosis trial going on. Nine countries have been testing out this new drug called Dalmanid, which is being used to treat drug-resistant forms of TB. So most people should be familiar with TB or the TB test. When they get their physical, they do a little injection under the skin and ask you to call back if there's any irritation over the next couple days. So far, testing has shown that half of the spit cultures taken from people using the drug show no sign of TB. There are no, no side effects were mentioned in this article. If this drug somehow affects you or someone that you know, please do some more research, especially since pharmaceutical companies are doing direct-to-consumer advertising, and you'll find random people like me talking about it on the internet. Go talk to your doctor and make sure it's the right drug for you. That's all for this week. I'll see you on Twitter and Facebook. Don't be a stranger. Subscribe. And as always, stay healthy, wealthy, witty, and wise. And I'll see you next time.